Prabhenwal, your English educator from APS Lamachor. I hope you all must be pink of your health and must be doing your studies seriously and attentively. My dear little kids, once again, I welcome you all to your English grammar class. So, in your English grammar, as you all know, nowadays we all are studying the chapter number 6 that are pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns are the words that are used in the place of noun to avoid the repetition of the same word in the sentence. So, the words which we use in the place of noun, they are known as pronoun. For example, he, she, they, them, you, etc. So, there are many examples. So, on that day, on our previous lecture, I have already explained you what are pronouns and different types of pronouns. We have already discussed about the personal pronoun. So, my dear students, today we are going to discuss about the reflexive pronoun and the possessive pronoun. So, let's go. My dear students, now let's understand our second pronoun that is reflexive pronoun. So, what are reflexive pronouns? Reflexive pronouns are words ending in self or selves. It means, my dear children, the words which end with self or selves. Okay, let me explain you. Suppose you are alone in the room. Suppose I am imagining myself that I am alone in this room and I see myself in the mirror. I see myself in the mirror. So, when I am seeing myself in the mirror, then what can I see? Mujhe kya dekhega? Of course, I will see my reflection in the mirror, not anybody else because I am alone in the room. Kyunki main room mein akeli hu. If I am alone in the room, then of course, I will see myself in the Mirror na mujhe apni shakal to nazar aegi. Similarly, it's the case with the reflexive pronoun also. So, the reflexive pronouns always ends with the self and self. That is used when subject and the object of the sentence are same. My dear children, when the subject and the object of the sentence, they both are same. That means they are talking both subject and object, they are talking about the one person only. Then that type of pronouns are known as reflexive pronoun. Let me explain you with the help of example. If I say, my dear students, that I have done this work myself. I have done this work myself. Ye ka maine khud kiya. Ab yahan pe here I. I means bhi I. I means maine. To I aapka kis mein hai? Subject ki jika pe hai I. Thik hai? Or myself. Myself aapka object ki jika pe hai. Last mein hai hai. Maine aapko bataya tha na ki subject always come first. Subject first mein aata hai. And object used to come at last. So here I is in the subject place and myself is in the object place. Ab yaha pe hum kya dekh rahe? Myself or I mere lehi to denote ho rahe. Not for you. Aap ke lehi to nahi ho rahe. I bhi mein apne aap ke lehi keh rahe ho. Myself bhi mein apne aap ke lehi keh rahe ho. To yaha pe both subject and object they are only one person. Ek hi person hai. And both subject and object are the same and it is acting on itself. Ek hi ke lehi use hota hai. So that type of sentences are known as Reflexive pronouns. So, one more example. Let me give you. Suppose that uh, if I say ki she did her, uh, her work herself. She did her work herself. Usne apna kaam khud kiya. To she ladki thi subject ki place mein thi. She thik hai. Or herself. Kyunki her ladki ho kile. For the girls we use her. To herself mein. पीछे से self भी आया है, so she और herself is used for the same girl and at the last self is used last में self use हुआ है, तो it means it is a reflexive pronoun. If I say they are playing themselves, मतलब वो लोग अकेले अकेले खेल रहे हैं, so I'm talking about 
अबाउट द मेनी चिल्ड्रेन सो दे आर जस्ट प्लेइंग देमसेल्व वो अपने आप अकेले अकेले खेल रहे हैं सो हियर दे इज इन द सब्जेक्ट प्लेस दे जो है आपका सब्जेक्ट की प्लेस में है एंड देमसेल्व्स क्योंकि प्लूरल है दैट इज इन योर ऑब्जेक्ट प्लेस तो बेटा सेल्फ इज यूज्ड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन जब हम एक के बारे में बात कर रहे होते हैं एट दैट टाइम we will use sel of self and when we are talking about many then at that time we will use selves okay so let me give you one more example if i say dear children that i drank the water myself i drank the water myself maine pani apne aap piya to इसमें आई भी क्या है आई आपका सब्जेक्ट की प्लेस में है प्रोनाउन और माई सेल्फ भी आपका ऑब्जेक्ट की जगह पे है और मैंने आपको उस डेफिनेशन में व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू दैट लास्ट में अगर सेल्फ और सेल्फ आए हैं और सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट दोनों सेम हो जैसे आई भी क्या है मैं ही हूं एंड माई सेल्फ भी मैं ही हूं सो हेयर I is in the subject place. Myself आपका ऑब्जेक्ट की प्लेस में है सो यहाँ पे और लास्ट में सेल्फ आ रहा है सो दैट मीन्स इट इज योर रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली वन पर्सन हम अपने बारे में या किसी एक के बारे में ही बात कर रहे हैं जिसमें सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट सेम हो और लास्ट में सेल्फ या सेल्फ आए सो दैट इज योर रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन My dear students, you know there are total nine reflexive pronouns in English. That are first one is myself, yourself, oneself, herself, himself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. And you know, my dear children, these all reflexive pronouns. they are used in the place of object not in the place of subject kabhi bhi subject ki place mein starting mein ourself yourself nahi aata it always used to come at the last that means in the object place so let me give you few example myself myself where we will use myself when we are talking about you, when you are talking about yourself jab aap apne bare mein baat kar rahe ho suppose माई सेल्फ आप तब यूज करोगे वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई ठीक है जैसे मेनी टाइम वी यूज टू से आई एट इट माई सेल्फ मैंने अपने आप खाया सो आई आएगा आपका सब्जेक्ट की जगह पे एंड दिस माई सेल्फ विल कम इन द ऑब्जेक्ट प्लेस ओके नाउ योर सेल्फ यू हैव डन डन इट योर सेल्फ तुमने अपने आप करा तो योर सेल्फ किसके साथ आएगा वेन यू इज देयर जब आपके पास यू होगा देन यू विल यूज योर सेल्फ यू हैव डन दिस योर सेल्फ ओके देन वन सेल्फ वन सेल्फ कम कब आएगा वेन वन हैज डन एनी वर्क इन वन सेल्फ जब अपने आप किसी ने अपना काम किया होता है एट दैट टाइम वी यूज वन सेल्फ वन हैज डन दिस वन सेल्फ ओके देन हर सेल्फ You know this where we use herself. Herself किसके लिए यूज होता है When we are talking about the girls of the lady, जब हम girls के बारे में या ladies के बारे में बात करें तो then we use herself. जब हम she के बारे में बात करें when we are talking about she, then we use herself. Okay. Then himself when we talk about boys, then at that time we use himself. जैसे he done his work. Himself, she does that drawing herself. Okay, ourself, ourself कहाँ पे use होगा? When we are talking about our, जब हम अपने बारे में बात करेंगे, ठीक है? At that time we will use ourselves. Okay, then yourself when you are using your, जब आप your use करेंगे. You do your work yourself. बहुत बार many time we used to say ना कि you do your work yourself. Don't just copy from others or don't do don't let others do your work. So do your work yourself. Themselves they have done their work themselves. So when we are talking about they, जब हम they के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं, then at that time we will use 
themselves. Okay, then itself, itself कब use करनी है? When we are talking about it, it has done and it has done that work itself. Okay, so it is used when we are talking about non-living thing. My dear students. Reflexive pronoun can be singular or it can be plural. For singular reflexive noun, we always use S, E, L, F at the end. Okay. And in the plural reflexive noun, we always use S, E, L, V, E, S. For example, of the singular reflexive noun, I have given you the example of myself, then herself, himself, itself, yourself. So, we can have some more examples. Suppose if I say that I saw myself in the mirror. I saw myself in the mirror. Okay. Now, if I say you blamed yourself. The girl hurt herself. Girl hai. To herself aega. The ball fell down itself. Apne ya box gir gaya. Because box is a non-living thing. Okay. Similarly, in this, the, in plural reflexive pronoun, we use selves. S-E-L-V-E-S. We are talking about many. So, the examples are ourselves, themselves, then yourselves. Few more examples we can give like they did the job themselves. Because they, bohat sari longe, they aya subject ki place mein. So, in place of they ke saath, themselves. Okay. You cannot look after yourself. We will call him ourself. She can her, her, help herself. So, wherever we are using she, she ke saath herself, he aega. To he ke saath himself, they aega, themselves, we aega, ourselves. So, with every pronoun we are changing. Okay. So, accordingly this reflexive pronoun can be singular and plural according to their uses we use to use them so my dear students i hope you almost have understood this reflexive pronoun very well now we will do one exercise related to this so that you can understand it more nicely my dear students now let's do exercise 6.2 and exercise 6.2 what is there underline the reflexive pronoun you have to underline the reflexive pronoun in the sentence and circle the noun or pronoun that they refers to. And you have to circle the noun or pronoun which they refers to. Okay. Now let's see this exercise. Here dekhe. The boy can ride the bicycle himself. So in this what is reflexive noun? Is my reflexive noun kya hai? I have told you just my last my self ya self sai. That will be your reflexive pronoun. So yahan pe. हमे क्या करना है? Underline reflexive pronoun. तो यहाँ पे is in this sentence what is reflexive pronoun? Himself. इसमें reflexive pronoun क्या है? Himself है and what it they refers to ये himself किसके लिए बोला क्या है? The boy के लिए. So here the boy को हम क्या कर देंगे? We will circle it. हम उसको क्या कर देंगे? Circle कर देंगे. Okay. Now see the second one. The dog is playing itself. The dog is playing itself. Dog apne aap hai. So here itself will be your reflexive pronoun. Ye aapka reflexive pronoun rahega. And ye itself kiske liye hai? It is for dog. Ye dog ke liye hai. So dog ko hum kya kar denge? We will circle dog. Okay. Now third hai. I managed everything myself. Mene apne aap khud sari chize manage ki. So, myself will be your reflexive pronoun. Myself aapka kya hoga? It will be your reflexive pronoun. Or kisne manage ki? Myself kiske le bola gaya hai? Myself I have said for me. Mere le bola gaya hai. So, it will be your I. Okay. Now, my brother made some snacks for himself. My brother made some snacks for himself. So in this, himself will be your reflexive pronoun. Himself kya hoga aapka? Reflexive pronoun hoga. Himself for whom? Himself has been donated. Uh, kiske liye bola gaya hai himself? We have said for my brother. Himself, uh, brother is a 
male member male gender so we have used himself for the boy my brother okay agar yahan sister hota to yahan herself hota so i hope you have understood this exercise well rest of the question of this exercise we will discuss in the google meet my dear students now let's do question number 2 of the same exercise 6.2 in this choose the correct words in this one statement is given to you and you have to fill this blank by choosing these options okay so let's read one by one she heard dash while boarding the bus so in this you can see that about the subject it has given सब्जेक्ट के बारे में तो दिया है डेट शी हर्ट उसने किसको हर्ट किया किसको चोट पहुंचाई नथिंग इज मैं सो वॉट वी विल राइट यहाँ पे क्या लिखेंगे शी हर्ट मी वाइल बोर्डिंग द बस या शी हर्ट हर सेल्फ वाइल बोर्डिंग द बस उसने अपने आप को हर्ट किया सो वॉट वी विल राइट शी हर्ट हर सेल्फ शी हर्ट हर सेल्फ वाइल बोर्डिंग द बस ओके नाउ Who has taken dash pen? Who has taken dash pen? It means, my dear children, we have learned that myself, me, these all things we use in the place of noun. Okay. Now, in this sentence, what you are seeing that one noun is already used. यहाँ पे pen noun already use हो रखा है. So यहाँ पे Myself कैसे आ सकता है बिकॉज माई सेल्फ इज अ प्रोनाउन वी यूज इन द प्लेस ऑफ नाउन माई सेल्फ एक प्रोनाउन है जो हम नाउन की जगह यूज करते हैं सो इट मीन्स वी कॉन्ट यूज माई सेल्फ ओवर हेयर ऐसा नहीं हो सकता हु हैज टेकन माई सेल्फ पेन नो इट विल नॉट बी लाइक दिस ये क्या होगा हु हैज टेकन माई पेन अब आपको समझ में आया ये माई पेन ये आपका पर्सेसिव प्रोनाउन है यहाँ पे माई सेल्फ इसलिए नहीं आया क्योंकि माई सेल्फ आपका प्रोनाउन है विच प्रोनाउन अगर हम यूज कर रहे हैं तो हम नाउन को यूज नहीं करेंगे यहाँ पे पेन ऑलरेडी नाउन दिया हुआ है तो वी विल राइट माई ओवर हेयर एंड माई इज पर्सिव प्रोनाउन ओके नाउ सी दर्ड वन शी वेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल वो हॉस्पिटल गई शी वेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल हर होगा या फिर शी वेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल हर सेल्फ वो अपने आप हॉस्पिटल गए सो इट विल बी शी वेट टू द हॉस्पिटल हर सेल माई डियर स्टूडेंट नाउ आई विल टीच यू वन मोर अनदर प्रोनाउन दैट इज पर्सिव प्रोनाउन नाउ द थर्ड प्रोनाउन इज योर पर्सिव प्रोनाउन सो वट आर पर्सिव प्रोनाउन्स पर्सिव प्रोनाउन शो पोजिशन दैट मीन्स दे शो यू हैव समथिंग It means, my dear student, possessive pronouns are those pronouns which show your possessions. Possessions means what you have. आपके पास क्या चीज है वो बताता है Suppose if I I have given you one example over here that if I say this house is mine, that means this house belongs to me. ये मेरा घर है So how can I write like how can I write the sentence that This house is mine. ये मेरा घर है ये आपका घर नहीं है Okay. Now, if I दे here, this mine, ये जो mine है it is showing that you are having possession of the house. आपके पास घर है मतलब ये आपका है It belongs to you. Okay. Now, if when I uh, let me give you one more example. If I say about this pen, मैं इस पेन की बात करूँ If I say this pen belongs to me this is my pen so how i will write this pen is mine not yours ye mera pen hai aapka nahi hai if i say about this board if i say this board belongs to aps ye aps ka uh, board hai so how i will say i will say this board is theirs ye unka board hai okay and suppose my dear children we all have went For the picnic, हम सब picnic में गए and uh, are all the things are all together सब की सारी चीजें साथ हो गई Now we have to segregate segregate the things सब को अलग अलग करना है So how we used to say that this cap belongs to him ये उसका उसकी है This frock belongs to hers ये उसका है Hims hers Then if I say these chocolates about these chocolates if I say तो हम ऐसे बोलेंगे ना दे दीज आर देअर्स चॉकलेट ये उनकी चॉकलेट है दिस 
ball this these boxes belongs to ours so here ours theirs mine yours hers his these all are your possessive pronoun which show that that particular things belongs to them ye show karta hai ya to wo aapko belong kar rahi hai ya kisi aur ko belong kar rahi hai so this is known as your possessive pronouns dear students now i will tell you in which subject you have to use which possessive noun suppose my dear students i is given as a subject agar i diya hai to i ke sath aap possessive noun kya aap use karenge mine this pen this marker is mine okay we ke sath aap ours ka use karenge he ke sath his they ke sath theirs you ke sath yours she ke sath her and it ke sath it's so we will understand these possessive noun much in a much more better way for this we will do one exercise related to this my dear students now see the exercise in this you have to complete the following with possessive pronoun so here few sentences are given to you and you have to fill this sentences with the possessive pronouns which we have studied just now okay so the first one is the luggage belongs to you the luggage belongs to you luggage means of the saman so saman aapka hai it belongs to you it is dash ab isme kya hoga kiska hai ye aapka hai na it is yours to yahan pe kya likhenge the luggage belongs to you it is yours so we will write over here yours okay right now here you see the pen belongs to her ye pen kiska hai uska hai us girl ka hai har ladkiyon ke liye use hota hai so this pen belongs to her it is hers kya kya use karenge h e r s bas s laga denge okay it is hers now third one is the cat belongs to them ye unki cat hai so it is them unka na them ke liye kya use karenge They are so it is theirs. ये किसकी है उनकी है T H E I R S theirs. Okay. Now fourth one is the wallet belongs to you. ये आपका wallet है so it is yours. हम यहाँ पे क्या लिख देंगे yours. So my dear students, we will not use apostrophe over here. यहाँ पे हम एपोस्ट्रॉफी एस करके नहीं लिखेंगे हम पूरा स्पेलिंग लिखेंगे वाई ओ यू आर एस सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप सो डेट यू ऑल मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट आर रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउंस एंड वॉट आर पर्सिव प्रोनाउंस सो गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो वेरी नाइसली आई होप यू विल एंजॉय सींग दिस वीडियो एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू डू योर पी डी एफ वर्क इन योर बुक एंड नोट बुक in a very neat and clean handwriting till then stay connected keep learning thank you thank you very much